Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a look using um, a color from my Dose of Colors and pop back over into my Makeup Geek pigments. Um, I don't think I've used um, the pigment that I used today in a video. I think I only used Utopia so far, but I did Insomnia. This one is um, reminiscent of Max pigment, the blue-brown pigment, I believe. I saw one of my friends here on YouTube use it. Uh, she did the MAC pigment, and I was like, hey, I think I have a similar color. Let me see. And I feel like the Insomnia from Makeup Geek is very similar. So I decided to use that on the eyes, and I also wanted to use my Dose of Colors um, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks on my lips. This one is the color Stone, and I really like it. Um... I showed you guys this color in a haul, um, and I really like this color. I probably should have um, lined my lips. I just have to find my liner. Ah, I don't know where it is. I'm just getting back from Florida. I was trying to get back into the swing of things. Hopefully, this video helps me set it back off, but hopefully, you guys are having a great day, and I shall see you in the next one. Please remember to be blessed, well-dressed, and not stressed, and I shall see you later. Okay, we're going to start with ColourPop on the eye. This one is called Truth, and this one is a pretty um, champagne colored shimmer. Uh, actually, I noticed when I put it on my eye, it's not as shimmery as I thought it was going to be. So, and I dropped this and it broke. Uh, I don't know if you can see. I had to push back in there. But what we're going to do is just pat it on the inner half of our eye. I feel like this is just helping me with um, the base of the look. So there you go. Next we're going to go in with ColourPop So Quiche. And that's what that one looks like. I was trying to get something that looks a little more chameleon like. Um, and this is definitely it. I just have to figure out um, the best way for me to apply it. So we're going to do this on the outer half. We're just going to do it on the lid. I know this padding motion has a lot of color payoff, but I just have to figure out which way I like the best. And then next we're going to go in with our in our crease. Let me get a smaller um, mirror. Next we're going to go in our crease with Makeup Geek Coco Bear. This is just going to be the base color underneath what we're about to put on. So I've only used um, this pigment color a couple of times. This is, let me show you, this is from uh, Makeup Geek and this is the color Insomnia. And this is a nice chameleon color, I guess that's what you can call it. It's very green, um, but when you turn it has like purples. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but we're just going to put this all over the lid. Right now I'm going to be using my crown brush. Um, this is a C224 Overall Concealer brush. And I'm just going to use this to pat that pigment all over the lid. And then we're going to go in again. So... So I'm just going to take some eye drops. On the back of my hand, I'm going to place maybe like two, um, maybe two drops. And we're just going to wet this brush. And we are going to go back in and just dab it over top of the color that we already placed. And then push a little more pigment on top of that. Um, next, we're going to go in with All That Glitters from MAC. Um, let me show you what it looks like. All That Glitters from MAC. And we're just going to use this on the inner tear ducts. So... And just go back in with that fluffy brush and make sure everything is like seamless. Okay, next we're going to take some mascara. Um, this one is BH Cosmetics Lovable Lash Mascara. And we're just going to do the top lashes. Uh, we'll do the bottom lashes after, you know, foundation and concealer goes on. 
All right, so right now we're gonna use the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Velvet Glide-On Eye Pencil in black velvet, and we're gonna line the upper and lower lashes. I'm gonna have to put this. Okay, next we're gonna go in with e.l.f. Liquid Liner. Um, we're going to line our upper lash line. Alright, so now we're going to go in with our uh, false lashes that we're going to be wearing today. These ones, I don't remember the name. Don't kill me, I don't. Um, but they're very wispy. I don't think they're all dull, all dull wispies, but. And we're just gonna use uh, the Duo Lash Adhesive. The only bad thing about using these, um, these little containers for your lashes is you kind of forget what you used. But, I mean, if that doesn't bother you, then cool. It doesn't really bother me because I just know which look I'm going for for the day, but. To tell you guys what lash I'm using, it is kind of difficult to remember. Okay, now that I cleaned up under my eye, um, yeah, we're going to apply the foundation. Today I'm just going to use my Smashbox Liquid Halo HD Foundation. Um, this whole past trip when I was in Florida, I was really loving my Max, my Max, my Mac uh, Match Master. I'm just trying to get rid of that because I want to try some other brands out. Um, but I really like that one because it matched my skin tone. After you put it on, it like, I don't know, changes to, to match you. It's, I don't know, it's interesting. It's really cool though. Um, so we're just going to apply this, dot it all over the face, and then we're going to pat this in. Okay, so next we're going to go in with some concealer. Today I'm going to be use, be using this Maybelline um, Cream Concealer. This is um, 35 Deep. I don't know, what is this? I think this is from the Fit Me line. Oh, it doesn't say. I'm just trying to use up all these products that I have. Okay, so now with the, my damp beauty blender, we're just going to set it. This is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Okay, while that's setting, we're just going to do our contouring. So today I am using the 10 color palette camouflage concealer from BH Cosmetics. And we're going to go in with this um, brush here. I think this one is from Morphe. I use it all the time. But we're just going to go into the darkest color that they have in the palette. And then we're going to mix this all together with I don't even know who I got this from now. Ah. Um, we're gonna use a flat top kabuki brush and we're gonna go in with that Inglot color, the pressed powder in 68. And we're just gonna set that cream uh, contour palette. I mean, contour palette. We're gonna set that cream contour that we just did.
color. This I believe I got in my latest Ipsy bag that they sent. This one is uh, Pandora's Face Pink Carnation. And we're just going to go back in with that same brush. So off the excess um, Benai powder. Okay, so we're going to use this um, e.l.f. This, oh geez. We're going to use this baked eyeshadow from e.l.f. in the color Moonlight Serenade. And we're just actually going to use this as a highlight on the cheeks. And I know, weird enough, I'm using my e.l.f. angled foundation brush. And I feel like this is the perfect width of what I want. And we're just going to apply it right on top of the cheekbone. And now on to the lips, which is the last step. So, um... I wanted to use one of the colors from the Dulce of Colors collection that I purchased, and I feel like I might want to do sand or stone. Wait, no, I think I want to do brick or, or um, brick or stone. Let me see. Let me just get out the package. <laughs> 